So I think it's day Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, it's day three. And today we finished up, so we compounded everything around here. We compounded the whole entire boat. The only thing we're missing to compound is the, the T-top, but other than that, um, all of this is compounded and everything has been applied uh, base, but this little, like this little thing right here, just this little section up top, but everything else starting from like that wall on, from like right here on, all the center console, the windows, uh, the poles, everything. All of this is already hit. And this is just base, it still needs a whole another layer of goodness to it, but all that got polished already. Polished all the metals. I did the, the non-skid already. You can see the sun. It looks pretty dang sick. I did that little section the wall so all of this already got hit all of this up here got hit with top and then tomorrow I'm probably gonna switch it up I usually come out and start in the morning but since the like the humidity that's outside it's not letting me do anything in the morning and then when it it's like 12 o'clock I can't even do anything because I'm sweating too much so tomorrow I'm gonna come in the afternoon and then see if that somehow helps I think it will I don't know we're gonna give it a try I mean what's the worst thing that can happen well, the hull done the motor is looking done the motor is done oh, look. there you go the motor I did two layers of top on it because that likes to get abused a lot in the in the bowl. I'm actually gonna do two layers of top in that too. Everything else is gonna get base and top. Base top, and then he just picks up with the with the ceramic and just make sure he's doing his thing to it. The floor, I buffed it out as best as possible that's the only issue with doing a boat that's a little older i mean it's a 2020 so it's not extremely old but a brand new boat that comes right out of factory you don't have to you just buff it because you want to take out the swirls you're not buffing any like oxidation even if it's just light like this one is just light the motor looks good power pole like a freaking a bug just crapped right there those are the worst things of life if you own a boat you're you know the, the when it comes to the the bug crap well it's a pain in the butt but once you coat the once you coat the thing all you have to do is you rinse you literally just rinse it off and the bug crap comes right off so that's that's a benefit and then just think about it when you're fishing all you have to do is just rinse it bead maker and well rinse it bead maker and dry or oh, drying while you're doing the bead maker. It's, I think it's the same process. It's kind of like the same process. I mean, it's better than drying and then putting a spray on it because then it's going to take so much time. So, I don't know. I'm trying to come up with a system that makes it a little bit easier, you know? I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but. I still have to coat the, I have to coat the non-skid, but that's going to be pretty easy. That I still have to polish. I still have to polish the this thing. But it's looking pretty dang good. 
So I'll catch you guys tomorrow in the afternoon, and then we'll finish up. Uh, we'll finish up putting top on it because I guess this has been so hot these couple of days that I was doing. Uh, I don't know if I forgot or if it was just too hot and and the camera died on me. But when we were doing the haul, we recorded base and then I guess top just. I don't know. I guess it topped out of here. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so it's the same thing, anyways. It's just the only thing different is when you're when you're gonna pie base, you just have to prep and top. The only thing you do is after everything is good, you just continue going. So right now we can just go along and start doing top. I'm just dead. So I'll leave that up for tomorrow. But I think it's coming out pretty dang good and. If it was my boat, I'll be super happy. So I'm going to keep on going and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace out. Well, for you guys, it'll probably be just like right now. Goodbye. It's day four on the boat and uh, I came a little bit in the evening to see if I can get away from the heat and the sweat and everything else. But yeah, look at me. I'm still sweating pretty bad. So I guess that's just part of living in South Florida. That's what happened. So um still though um we're gonna do pretty good today well i already finished coating well yesterday like i said um we finished coating all the top side well not coating all the way we finished base and then today we're gonna go around and just finish everything up and uh we're gonna start applying top to everything or up here we still got to do base all the hatches I already cleaned up and uh, spray some bead maker in it. We just have to go around and do all the lips on all the hatches and uh, put top on it. So somehow I got here today. Oh, here's the bilge. The bilge is already done. Over here, that rust, I, I didn't really want to mess with it because you see that contraction thing over here. Just no matter what you do with that with that it's just going to keep on leaking rust so um we topped it off in here we put a little um oh we cleaned it first with all-purpose cleaner and then uh then we topped it off with uh some bee maker on it i usually put hyper dressing but since this one doesn't really get that wet i was like you know what let me just put some bee maker on it and it looks pretty dang good so I just have to go along and coat all the all the edges of all this stuff. The engine's already done, and then I gotta do up there. But up there, I'm gonna wait a little bit, let the sun go all the way down, so I can take a little, uh, I guess, sweat chill, and then uh, we'll start up there. And I think it's because I drink too much water too. I tried getting in at least a gallon. This is almost my second gallon today, so I don't think that's helping the cause. I'd rather stay healthy and sweat a little bit than not, you know? So I guess there's nothing really to it right now than just to get to it. Um, what we'll do is I'll start, I'll start with, um, you know, I don't know. That's actually a good idea. I don't know if I should start with yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to come over here and just start applying base to all this stuff. I'm going to close all this up. Close up this hatch. Close up these hatches. And then I'm just going to just start going along and start applying base to all this. I'm going to make sure you do the trim stuff too. You can clean all the trim, everything else. I usually just like applying a little bit of bee maker on all this stuff that does the work just a nice little topper but here man I don't know why he just has he has bird crap all over bro like look at this I just cleaned the boat hasn't even been five minutes I just dried everything up these big bugs are gonna start crapping all over the place Messing up my groove, man. All right. Let's 
start coding. So let's just do the same old, same old. And uh, let's get our gloves ready. So we need panel wipe. We need these. This is what I need right now. Uh, I don't need this. Do I need an applicator? Yes, I do need an applicator. Looks like it's a lot of stuff, but the little bandana thing I have going on, that's to stop my sweat. And then uh, my sunglasses to see what I'm coating. And then the hat, obviously, just to block off some of that, some of that, that sun, because, oh my God. I'm gonna run real quick and get a couple But I'm pretty sure if I was inside a warehouse or something, it's probably like a two, maybe max three day boat. It's just the sun beats you up when you're out here, you know? So let's get to it. So I guess I'll just start from this side. Seems kind of appealing to me, so we'll start over here. What can you guys see over here? You guys can see a good amount. And the mic, I'm kind of having it on weird too because it's all drenched with, with, um, with sweat. So. You know what, let me do the top first. It makes more sense. I wanna make sure, cause I was using the chamois mop to dry. I wanna make sure I get all the bee maker and everything else off so I don't start coating over all that and it gets stuck in the the paint. I think I'm gonna run a pretty big line here. Second, the sweat just killed me.
I sat on it really hard. Oh. Looks good. Oh, I already cleaned it. getting a little bit on the cushion but I mean it's the top of the cushion piece really doesn't have any any creases there so it should be fine I know guys that they actually coat the cushions but in my opinion I don't see a need for all that look see if you got everything looks pretty good to me so take the eraser that you level with or the uh, micro you leveled with and just like just passing over everything You're not really taking anything off, you're just leveling it. I'm pretty sure if you just applied the whole entire boat, like if you applied ceramic on the whole entire boat and just left it leveling it by itself, I'm like 90% positive it'll just self level all the way through. You just can't have like obviously any bugs or anything getting on it. Cause then I'll mess it all up, but I'll bet anyone that. Yeah, I don't know. It's worse. I don't know. If coming at this time is worse. It's coming. At the so I feel like I'm getting direct, direct sun west. And usually it's just in the morning. Or just in from the east.
I'm going to change the map. I overdo it. I gotta go past the line just a little bit, like where I pre previously hit, just to make sure that I'm getting every single spot. Because if you do the little line thing and you think you went to a spot, but you're probably gonna miss it. I'm only telling you guys this so you guys can be inf informed because I mean some of you guys will want to get accredited to apply this stuff and make some money but for most of you it's just uh, what's the what's the pros of doing this you know which the pros are super easy maintenance you don't have to worry about having someone come out, wax the boat every three, four months, six months, whatever it is. That can get annoying. The the beating effects are like second to none. I was just cleaning the bird ship when I got here. And they were coming right off. Like right off. Just with a little bit of uh, GSF. And uh, and the what you gonna call it? The microfiber wash mitt. And then I went upstairs and that's all like smooth. And up there, the same thing. All I did was put a little bit of uh, GSF with a blue soft brush. And all that was coming right off.
that's how we do it. It's pretty dang good. I'm gonna go drink some water. So I can sweat a little bit more. And then I'll start coating all this in here. Definitely need water to sweat more though. I think that should be part of my brand. That recorded but I was in the front already and we laid so the whole boat already has base on it now we're just gonna start layering um, some top which is part two base is obviously the base and then top coat is what goes on, on the top and the top is a lot harder than bases base is probably pH of 8 and top is like 10 I believe I gotta go get more micros and I'm gonna change out these gloves too because they are sweatier than sweat How are you? a little sweaty <laughs> it was like I jumped in the pool no no just about, yeah. Huh? What do you use? A razor. A razor? Like a razor. Yeah. Nah, you can't go this way. This way it hurts. You gotta go with you gotta go with the flow. Why would you use like an electric shaver? Uh I don't know. Yeah. I guess you can, but I kinda like just shaving it all the way clean. I used, to, I used to go to LA Fitness when I was working I, up in, in the Doral area. Uh -huh. And there was two guys that, that shaved their heads. Every single day? I, every day. I, I have, you know, because the guy would, he would lather his, because he would shave too, he would lather his face and lather his head. <laughs> he would laugh and I would, <laughs> and he would laugh too, because I said, and I said, to me, that looks like it would be so comfortable. It's not comfortable, but... Oh, yeah, yeah, it is comfortable. You should try it. No. Why not? Where will you stop? I'm so old. Yeah. I work... I was a nurse and I mm. worked at this hospital in Detroit a mm. hundred years ago. And I was on this floor and there was this old man who was like a street person. Uh -huh. And he was in with some problem. But he had tertiary syphilis, so he shook and everything. And he just, he didn't have a razor, he just had a razor blade. And he was, was bald too? Ward, and he was bald and he would like. <laughs> No, no. Nah. So <laughs> yeah. There were four other guys yeah. that like got together and bought him a razor and a bunch of safety razor and yeah. 
<laughs> nah, cause that's scary. Cause me just like, me regularly, I cut my head from time to time. I'm like, oh man, <laughs> like I. That made me think of it. You guys talking about that? This guy like. I'll be terrified if I was that guy. You go and you cut the side of your chin or something. And I quit shaving. Oh, look at that. Yeah, I know, but it's up and away, so we don't care. It's going up or it's coming down? I heard that that's what's coming down for this weekend. I get it. It'll come around, but just a Let's head to our daughter in Boston. I don't know what we need, but we need something for this heat. And this is going to get worse and worse and worse. Oh my god. Oh, my whole life. I went, yeah, but I don't know. It feels like it's been hot or like super hot. The thing about the people up in like Seattle, they're not even in 103 or 104 up there. I think theirs is just a little different because it's like the drier air. Kind of. We moved to uh, Florida in 1977. I had a job. I worked in electrical, like commercial electrical stuff, commercial industrial. And we had uh, two, two jobs, that, well, two jobs that lasted for about two and a half years. One was in, in Miami doing uh, employee parking lot. And we did another one at the airport in Lauderdale. Miami Airport. So it was Miami and, and Fort Lauderdale. It was two. Okay. And uh, it was like right in the middle of summer. And you're working, there's no, no landscaping, there's no trees. It's nothing but like lime rock, white lime rock that's compacted. Yeah. And you're it's out sun. there working in this and like you know, digging ditches and putting in poles and doing all this like really heavy work. It never bothered me a bit. Yeah. You know? And people say, oh, you're crazy. And I said, you get used to it. Yeah, you do get used to it. If I tried to do it now, it'd kill me. <laughs> nah, I get used to this too. Exactly. I mean, when you're young, you, it's, it's, it's not that bad. Even now, I mean, I used to like, you know, go out doing landscaping or, you know, fixing things and stuff like that. And people would say, why are you doing it? It's too hot. It doesn't bother me. You know, in the last year or two, it started to bother me. Yeah, I think so too. It's just, uh, I don't know if it's worse or or not, but I know it's, it's not the same as it used to be. I mean, I, even I used to play golf in the middle of the summer, in the middle of July or August. And never thought anything about it. Hey, they need to stop. They need to stop messing with this environment. Cause yeah. 